Greetings managers, this is the warden speaking. The Ebony Queen's Apple is the first boss of this dungeon. She is extremely simple and will help you to learn how to handle other bosses. When finding any abnormality, consider each part to be independent from each other. With the Ebony Queen, you can see that her roots have HP of 168 and 2 staggered thresholds. The Ebony Queen weaknesses are slash attacks and the colors dark blue and red. Resistances are pierce attacks and colors are purple or blue. However, this doesn't give you a full advantage. For example, this red slash attack to root spikes is hopeless, which gives me a certain losing outcome. As each part of the abnormality has different attacks, use a chart above to determine which decision to make. Avoid clashes that are hopeless or struggling. While Sinclair holds the aggro on two attacks, he cannot win a clash due to the power of the roots. The other attack from the right stem is neutral. My choices here are to fight against it, block, or target a different part. I highly recommend either blocking or committing to a different attack in this scenario. See that when I hover above another stem, that stem retaliates in the clash. This means I change Sinclair being attacked two times into three. I'll have Sinclair attack it to show as an example. Now Sinclair has the highest speed of three, which means he'll make the first move no matter what. The Ebony Queen only has a speed of two or one. Gregor here is targeted by another root attack. Having him clash will be pointless. The moves here are to have him block or attack a different part. Keep in mind of your own sinner's strength and weaknesses to attacks. After you see the abnormalities targeted attacks, you can have different sinners take aggro of them or leave it be. I plan to have Sinclair and Gregor take the attacks and instead deal damage. Other sinners attack a part targeting a different sinner makes that part unopposed, making it a free attack. Avoid aiming for fruit in the beginning. The best way is to destroy her parts and will her down. Let's watch this turn unfold. One part is already broken, now is the time to focus the others down. The yellow text on screen will give you a small hint. Clearly, the floor vines are the most dangerous attack. The key is to destroy the seed, since it can regrow other parts. But you can roll past it with the correct combat turns. For the next turn, I fully commit attacks to the left stem. While I couldn't destroy it, I dealt a lot of damage. Next up, you must pass a dice roll event. This decision will either make the boss harder or easier, or maybe even simply neutral. The checks are done by the affinity of your sinners. In this case, Wrath, which is red. Thankfully, it shows the probability above your own sinners. Choosing a sinner of very high is your best chance of passing. But even other sinners not very high can still pass a check. Easy check. Now this is interesting. Setting Gregor in here broke this part. I sent Faust afterwards and she dealt zero damage. Overcommitting attack may waste it. Your sinner does not retarget their directed attacks. Remember this. The next part is the exception. Instead of having a struggling charge versus the roots, I have Faust eat the attack, then have the other sinners focus on the fruit. Upon breaking the fruit, the Ebony Queen's main body will be attacked indiscriminately. The only parts left are the roots and destroyed seed. The boss is shattered. But upon the next turn, the seed will recover. This will regrow other parts. Focusing only on the seed in the beginning may result in the loss of many sinners, so be aware. Here, I will destroy the roots and then follow up on the fruit. And that's it. Remember, practice makes perfect managers. Warden out.